Hello everyone and welcome back to Wildlife Park 2 where we have starving sheep and I'm a little bit worried about these guys. I really thought that they would do okay with like all of these feeders here but it seems like they only eat from two specific types of feeders. They will eat from the pellet feeder and they will eat from the foraging feeder but that is it and so I have accidentally almost starved these poor itty bitty little sheep and so we're going to clear all of the feeders that they won't touch out of here. There we go, there we go. Though they do enjoy their uh, splintery pile of sticks over here. All right. So, yeah, we've got to feed these guys. I feel so bad. I didn't know that they wouldn't eat out of there. And the next thing you know, suddenly everybody is dying. It just it went from zero to extreme really, really quickly. So these guys primarily only eat out of like these guys. I wonder the hay rack. Will they eat out of the what about this? <gasps> hey, do you guys want to eat out of this? What do you guys think? Is that the kind of is that the kind of feeder you guys are going to have? Okay, so they won't eat grain feed, even though the unicorns will. You think they would. And then we'll put in a hay rack. Maybe they'll eat the hay rack. They really seem to enjoy the pellets, too. So we'll have to kind of wait and see if our sheep, which were just supposed to be a really easy, fun, random animal that we threw in. So we could have a petting zoo, primarily made up of sheep dogs. It was just supposed to be fun. And the next thing you know, it's it's dramatic and everybody is dying. And it was, it was just a little bit much, if you ask me. So are you guys going to be okay? Come on. Come on, sheep number two. Come eat. Come eat. All right. So they will eat from this big one, too. Okay. They should be okay now. Oh, that was a lot more panic than I was anticipating. The good news is, though, we are going to make a little corn patch over here. Like a little... Oh, and we even have some cabbages. Yes. So let's make a little vegetable patch and we'll kind of tuck it back over here. Um, And then giant seaweed, fruits, rice. I don't think they need to worry about rice. What's this? Jeempa? I don't know what jeempa is, but I don't think I want my, my sheep eating that. So we'll make a bunch of corn back here. What does the corn want? The corn want a warmer temperature, which they're not going to get at this time of March. So they're just going to have to kind of deal with it for a minute. Oh, wow. And look, all of our animals are pretty happy now that the sheep aren't dying. And all of the guests, the average guest satisfaction. Grandpa one wants to know if all the only animals we have happen to be two varieties of amazing unicorn. Be a little more grateful, Grandpa. Jeez, look at how beautiful this is. Come on, Grandpa. This is gorgeous. If you can't appreciate this, then I, I don't even I don't even have words for you, Grandpa. I mean, look at this. This is lovely. And we have our black unicorn now as well. Uh, it turns out that the black unicorns and the white unicorns cannot actually have babies together. I was a little disappointed. <gasps> Look, and there's our foal and our very first unicorn foal. And we have so many bunnies hopping around, which is really, really cool. All right. So I'm sorry, little sheep. Okay. The sheep look like they're recovering. Jeez, I'm glad they are because that really alarmed me for a minute there. And I wonder if we can decorate their area with something. I know they won't actually mess around with everything that we could put in there, but I sometimes like putting other animals enrichment items into an exhibit because it looks kind of cool. Um, like you could have these little ground nests on the ground. We could put in some logs. They might jump over some logs. I'm not sure. Can I put in like the tiny stable? It's too big. It's too big. Uh, high energy stable, a little shelter. We could put a little shelter in here. I should probably put a little shelter in here, huh? All right, we'll put, um, yeah, we'll just go ahead and put a little shelter right over there. And then let's go ahead and make this because look, everybody is like, I don't like the weather. Well, you guys have a shelter you could go into now. What do you think about that? Jeez, I didn't, I didn't anticipate that I would be so worried about a bunch of sheep, but I definitely am. All right, and let's get their little corn field up and going. And then we'll take care of what the corn wants in just a second. Oh, look at him go in the little shelter. Jeez, that's adorable. All right, so we'll get the cornfield down and then I'm going to go ahead and like line a whole bunch of cabbages back here, too. Oh, my gosh. Listening to. Oh, and Benny number four is pregnant. Listening to all the sheep just go bah, all the time kind of cracks me up. The ground is too soft. So the cabbages want a hardness of 40 to 50. And I'm so cold, says the corn. Well, the corn's going to have to just hang in there and we'll put down. Yeah, we'll put down this kind of soft ground. Nice. That should make the cabbages happy. And the corn's still going to be miserable because it's the wrong season for corn. 
uh, I guess, or it's like too cold for corn, but they're just going to have to endure for a little while because it looks awesome in that back corner. That's awesome. Wonderful. Well, this makes me very happy, even though nobody has come to look at our sheep. After all of the trouble we went through <laughs> to get these sheep in here, nobody's even coming over to look at them. Really? Our guests are just so fussy sometimes. All right, we'll put in like a live oak over here. Uh, I think we got another alert that like bunny. Oh, look at all those bunny. Oh, dear three has offspring. Congratulations, dear number three. Unfortunately, I don't think we get to learn anything about um, like if the the like what the family tree is. Unlike, oh wait wait wait, look, there's a baby. <gasps> it even has the spots. It even has spots. Oh my gosh, hi. You are precious. That is so fine. So unfortunately, we don't get to see a cool family tree the way you do in Zoo Tycoon 2. But we've talked about that before, you guys. This is just going to be a really fun kind of Halloween fantasy series that we can enjoy. And we do have some plans in the works for a few Zoo Tycoon 2 possible series. So don't you panic. Don't you panic. We definitely haven't forgotten about what I personally believe to be. Oh my gosh, this deer just does not want to hold still. Come on, just for a second. Gosh, you're so cute. He's really fast, too. You know, normally a baby deer will actually, like, stay in one place. He just ran under. <laughs> Are you hiding next to the unicorn? That's not your parent, you know. You're going to get trampled. Do be careful. All right, we'll go ahead and get back over to our little sheep sheep. Oh, people are actually coming over to see the sheep. Uh, what is she complaining about? More decorations. Oh, okay. Maybe I can even put some of these decorations into the sheep exhibit for all I know. Like maybe the, the daisies? I don't know. I think they would eat the daisies. <laughs> Actually, we should have some cool decorations that kind of go up along the edge of what's going to be the mermaid exhibit. I am going to definitely add in a mermaid very, very soon. Um, should I put the pavilion over here? Maybe over here, I think. So people can kind of have an overlook of the mermaid exhibit, in my opinion. And then... um. Maybe a lighthouse over here for the mermaid? Actually, I think that would be kind of cool. We'll put the lighthouse over here to let you know you're starting to approach mermaid territory. And let's see, what else can I put down? It would be really cool if you had like little patches of farmland. That would have been a really cool decoration piece. I think that actually the daisies over here is okay. So we'll kind of like line the daisies up next to where the, the, the sheep are. And we'll put some trees in between. Um, and they have a pavilion if they want to get out of the rain. Oh, and we can have like a little cute hand well. There we go. Hand pump uh, that they can enjoy. It's nice and scenic and kind of rustic-y. Oh, and a reception board. So you can like read about the fact that, hello, there are mermaids here. I have no idea if they will eat you or not. In many stories, mermaids do indeed eat people. So I, I don't know if I need a big sign on my zoo. Like, warning! There may be a mermaid who may try to eat you here. We're, we're not sure what she eats yet. All right, we'll go ahead and put these over here. And sheep, sheep. Yeah, let's give the sheep a nice a nice place to kind of relax. We only have one unhappy corn. So that's better than having a whole bunch of unhappy corn. So we'll give some nice trees to the sheep. They look so much better already. Look at that. Well, that makes me really happy. I'll even throw in a few flowers for them. <gasps> they can have sunflowers. Yeah. We'll give the sheep some sunflowers. Well, now I'm really thrilled. It went from... It's the plants, you guys. We've proven it in Zoo Tycoon 2. We've proven it in Zoo Crafting. Once you add in some plants, it really, really helps to fill in all of the little corners to kind of soften everything. I just feel like things that don't have a lot of plant matter, they just don't feel comfortable. <laughs> I just feel really uncomfortable in those kinds of places. All right, so let's see what else we've got over here. Should I put down... I'll oh, maybe tuck a few of these guys kind of into the corner... And maybe around the base of the trees, if I can. I am so spoiled by my no grid lock in Zoo Tycoon 2, so I can just decorate with everything. All right, let's turn this over here. And there we go. And then maybe a couple of these guys over here. And then we'll leave a lot of it open because it is supposed to be like a sheep field. But I really like how this turned out. For some reason, this particular spot is reminding me a lot of Star Stable. <laughs> Is anybody else getting that vibe too? Is anyone else? Because I really feel a strong Star Stable vibe from over here. And it's kind of cracking me up. All right. So we have a whole bunch of sheep. They are actually very much enjoying their little shelter over there. They've got a nice little area to walk around. And we're going to hurry and put in the 
dogs. Are you guys ready for this? I'm thinking the old German hunting dog would be really cool. Or maybe like I think the herding dog even. The herding dog would be really cool because we have a whole bunch of sheep in the next area and we do have this zoo situated in Germany. So let's read what the old German hunting or herding, excuse me, dog would need. So let's see. Hardness of ground, 20 to 60. They need to run, jump, swim. Really? That's going to be a little tricky. Uh, play fighting. Do you need to swim too? I think we might go with the German Shepherd because... Oh, or maybe we'll do like, oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. If I'm going to do swimming, that's going to be a little tricky. Adding water in this world and this game in particular is very tricky. Play fighting with each other. They like to have one to eight uh, members of their pack. So we could definitely make that happen. They need water and meat. Oh, and bunny number two has more babies. Yay for bunny number two. So, hmm. We might go with just German Shepherds this time because making it so that there would be enough room for them to swim in here would be really hard. So we're going to get out water, meat, and making make sure they have somewhere to jump and some, uh, some places to get out of the elements and things like that. So let me see if I can find what kind of food we're supposed to put down for those guys. Because this might be a little trickier, adding in spots, monkey slide, climbing wall. No, I'm pretty sure none of those are meant for the animals. Treadmill for training. What is that? Oh, long, lo laundry. Okay, okay. That's for the horses. I was so confused for a second. Simple hurdle for training. Um, I really need trampoline for training. Dolphin light game. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There's a fire hurdle. <gasps> what? We need to put this in where the black unicorns are because I think that would be really, really cool. A heat radiator to keep everybody warm. Oh, I wonder if that would make the corn happy, oddly enough. <gasps> chicken coop. The little chicken coop. Oh my gosh. And a dog kennel. Oh my gosh. The little dog kennel. All right. So we'll put in the dog kennels for sure. And we'll put a few of them in. Man, this is looking familiar for so many of our series, right? Right? All right. And we'll go ahead and put one more dog kennel over here. Is that a pig pen? Oh, it's a sheep pen! Sheep! You have an actual sheep pen! Did you guys know this? Hey, there you go! Enjoy! All right. And then let's come back over. I need to figure out how to feed my dogs. <laughs> they need meat. They need to have... Oh, here's some meat. Do I just give them, like, literally... <laughs> raw slabs of meat on the ground is that how this is going to work really apparently and like drinking okay well i hope that the guests can handle this there you go puppies <laughs> just literally raw meat on the ground <laughs> okay all right and then they need to be able to jump it said so probably a whole bunch of stones for them to jump over would be good and then we do need to put in something Mm, I don't know if they want to jump over that, but we'll put it in. And we do need to put in a fence. And we do need to put in, let's see, the gate for visitors. I think that's what we put in. So we'll try that. And then I'm going to put, like, my personnel gate over here. And we'll see if he'll just, like, come this direction. He probably should. He can just he can just meander through here. So hopefully he'll come down over here and take care of everything. And then I can't remember, is it supposed to be like a special type of gate? I think that's the gate for visitors so that people can come in and interact with our dogs. And then you can put down, um, if I can find it, feed, grain feed, corn feed. I think maybe like watch a, a movie about the dogs. That sounds kind of, uh, it's not the prettiest booth. Um, we'll figure out what to do with that. We'll figure out what to do. And I really want people to come and hang out with our dogs now. So what do I need to put down? Oh, a souvenir chest. Oh, that's going to be so cool for our mermaid. That is going to be off the charts for our mermaid. That's going to be awesome. Okay. Uh, oh, and a musician stand. Now this is interesting for this area because it's kind of turned into a farmy zone. So we'll go ahead and put that down. Boxing machine, swing ride. We do have a few kind of interesting things that I would like to tuck in. Um, and I wish there was like, here's feed. Uh, let's go ahead. You know what? Let's make it so that people can also go into the animal, the sheep area if they so wish. They can go pet the dogs or they could come over and they can come pet the sheep as well. So all right, I need to move this thing. All right. So I'll put that over here and then maybe we'll put in a second one over here. Over here? Over here? Oh, uh, 
So they walk through the flowers. I don't want them to walk through the flowers. The gates are kind of tricky because they have to be like a certain length. But I guess, hey, if they're going to go in, I would love to see the guests actually use these because <laughs> maybe I'm totally doing it completely wrong and the guests aren't able to actually go in. And that's vegetables. There we go. The automatic feeders. We'll put them next to the entrances for the sheep. And I hope they can go in and pet the dogs because that would be really cool. All right, and we'll go ahead and, because people were asking for a petting zoo, and I have now provided, hello, ma'am. Oh, no, I don't have any money. Oh, that is a problem, ma'am. That's a big problem, actually. <laughs> so let's put in an ATM. There we go. That should make everybody in this situation happier. Where should I tuck the ATM? Uh, maybe probably over by this guy, perhaps. I think having an ATM over here would make sense. Whoops. All right, let's try this again. Come here. All right, you. All right, come here. Is she petting my sheep? They were making a lot of noise all of a sudden, so I was like, what's going on with my sheep? All right, so nothing happening over there just yet. And I should probably put another ATM over by this shop. This is just like a little, our little souvenir shop too. Ah, dang it. It's so tricky to like try to turn things just right here. There we go. All right, we'll make sure that it's connected. There's that. Just, no, I didn't mean to remove all of that. <laughs> I wish the bulldozer, oh yay, the bunny is pregnant. Oh, and the sheep is pregnant. <gasps> Mist is pregnant again. She's expecting a second foal, you guys. We're gonna have more baby unicorns. Yay. Why is everybody unhappy? Hmm? Not enough space to walk around. That's because the bunnies had so many babies. Okay, this is gonna seem terrible, but we're gonna say a fox snuck in here and we're gonna see what happens if you put a fox in here. This may be a, a thing I'll regret like instantly, but let's add in a female fox and let's see what she does. Let's see if she, I do anything for some raw meat. Oh, <gasps> is she, is she gonna? No, she's gonna drink from over here. Now again, this sounds terrible, but I'm kind of imagining this is more like a wild park, like a wild forest area. So let's see what happens. The black unicorn's curious about her. Is she gonna eat our bunnies? I know that sounds horrible, but there's so many bunnies. Is she gonna go after them? Oh, how I would love to return to the mountains. There's just not enough space in here to walk around. Well, are you gonna eat the bunnies? I added in so many bunnies in the first place so that we could try to have some like natural balance predatoriness going on. Um, okay. Oh. Oh. Oh! Oh, it even has a little, like, rest in peace sign. But did that fill up the, the animal at all? Again, that sounds terrible, but, oh, it didn't even do anything. That's so terrible. All right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I mean, yes, the fox is kind of doing its job. Is it going to eat this time? Okay, and it's kind of eating this time. Okay, so I'm going to leave the fox. Is it going... <gasps> Not the unicorn, fool! What have I introduced into this? Oh my gosh. I was just hoping the fox would like kind of balance out the bunny population a little bit, not chase after the unicorn foal. Okay, I think it was actually going inside of that area to get out of the rain. So, all right, we have a we have a predator among us now. Is it going to come back over to eat from the bunny? Okay, you know what? It is a little bit intense, but we're going to go ahead and leave the fox here because we have too many bunnies. And this may actually clear some things up. So hang in there, Fox. Hang in there. And it looks like she got plenty of food from that. So yeah, she's actually going to return to the food that she has started to hunt down too. So we're going to leave the fox. Oh my gosh, the bunnies. <gasps> they went inside that little burrow. That's so cute. Oh my goodness. 
So yeah, we'll leave the fox and we may even when she just says that she wants a mate add in a mate for her And we'll try to keep things a little bit balanced. Oh grandma. There are two things to drink You just need to come over to the area. Okay. Well, we'll kind of leave that and keep an eye on it So I'm not sure how she'll do She's a little sad because she wants to return to the mountain So I won't I won't keep her if she's unhappy unhappy here She wants a little bit more highland area So we might add in a little bit more highland and just see what happens but already the animals are actually happier because those two bunnies being removed eased up uh, the bunny population quite a bit and we can just start coming in and I think sales value eight. Yeah, the bunnies don't have a lot of sales value. Deer number nine. Okay, come here, come here. Not enough space, not enough space it says. Well, let's go ahead. I think yeah, the bunnies are hardly worth anything because they breed so quickly and you can come down and just be like, okay bunnies. I'll go ahead and sell a few of you. All right, but yeah, we'll we'll leave a predator in and just see how that works out. And we'll see if it brings balance or if it ends up uh, not being able to hunt enough or if it ends up being too distressing to the guest and everything. So, all right, hang in there, everybody. If I really need to, I'll just start selling bunnies, but I was hoping that introducing a predator would be a little bit more of a naturalistic way to keep the balance. Oh my goodness. Well, that got kind of interesting, didn't it, you guys? All right, and oh my gosh, look at this man. He's watching the guy playing. He's doing well. He's happy. All right. I'm, I'm actually kind of getting the hang of this, I think. All right. So I think what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and add in a male and female German Shepherd. And oh, can you change the color of their coat? Really? Really? Uh, I'm not noticing anything different. And we'll add these guys in. And I'm just going to have to wait and see if the, like, Visitor gates allow people to go in and actually interact with our German Shepherds, too. So hopefully they'll have a good time. Are you gonna jump? Are you gonna jump? Oh, look at that jump! A plus jump! Oh, and we will we will change up this area so it has some highlands for the German Shepherds, too, so that they can feel like they're more at home in the mountains. And then, once we finish that up, we're gonna get started on making our mermaid area. So, alright, I will see you guys next time for more of this very special little side series preparing for Halloween coming up and diving into figuring out what's going on with some of our fantasy animals. So, we'll have to see if we can bring peace to the universe corn forest with a predator so bringing peace with a predator hmm and if not then we'll just have to kind of manage things a little bit more carefully in the future and remembers that bunny and remember that bunnies like breed like bunnies <gasps> mister you giving birth or are you just taking a nap nope she's she's got a whole like almost a year left before giving birth to her second unicorn foal all right so i'll see you guys next time Bye bye